Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to install Home Assistant on a Raspberry Pi 8 channel smart power distribution box. So let's look at this smart power distribution box firstly. You can see uh, this is a smart power distribution box and we can open this door and we can look at what is inside and you can see this is King Kongi Server Mini uh, it's a 8 channel output controller used by Raspberry Pi CM4 and this have a brick uh, this have a 2 channel brick and this is single channel uh, the max is 16 ampere and this is power supply uh, DC 12 volt and uh, 4.5 ampere and this is a fuse you can see uh, it's a fuse just protect protect this power supply and this is a uh, power incoming just uh, 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 AC 220 volt uh, single phase uh, also can make it for three phase and this is E8 uh, King Kong E8 extended relay board uh, that max support uh, 16 ampere so you can see this is the control system uh, by power by MCB by relay external relay module and by the Raspberry Pi controller and if we can use it power on and so the power LD is on and the power LD also is on and now uh, there is no any software inside of it because it's new later I will show you how to install the SD card at here and install the software and this external relay we have this manual control button so that you can see I can control this relay uh, for on and off manually because if the Raspberry Pi is broken or if your network is broken so we need to make sure you can use a uh, button and make country manually so that can make sure the relay always can work and this relay also is removable so if the relay is black or if the relay is bad so you can easy to replace it it's very easy uh, you can see at uh, this count when I turn on and turn off so this is relay contact that will be move. Okay, uh, this is the hardware structure. Now let's look at how to install the software in my computer. Uh, this time we will use this SD card. I have choose this high speed uh, 64 gigahertz. So we will install this SD card and at here. And at the first we need to uh, use this SD card and download the firmware. Uh, by computer SD card read. Okay, let's look at my computer. And this is King Kong Server Mini. It's a Raspberry Pi 4 8 channel relay controller. So I have installed this controller in my DB. So at the first, we, you can see we will use this five step to install the Home Assistant and uh, configure some components and uh, install some add-on and configure it so that can use your mobile phone and use your PC to use the Home Assistant software. And the first, uh, I need to write the Home Assistant image to this SD card. So I can just uh, use a new card. Okay, I get this card and the next I will write the code. I will insert my SD card uh, to my compute card. And now let's look at, uh, you can download the Raspberry Pi image toys from this web page. Uh, you can see, I just use this uh, Raspberry Pi image. So you can download it here uh, according to your computer system. I have already downloaded, so I just directly to use. So you can see, uh, just Pi image, just this one. I click and click yes. And you will see, uh, this is my first step. Uh, let's look at, click no. I not need to update. 
And now you can see we can choose this Raspberry Pi device because we use Raspberry Pi CM4, so we can choose this one. And the operation system, uh, choose this one, other special OS, and you will find the Home Assistant and Automation item. Just click and click the blue one. Uh, this is Home Assistant. And click this one, Home Assistant, and the storage. And that detect our SD card. So I just click this one and click next and click continue. Yes. Okay, now we just wait for a moment so that can write the image to SD card. That will auto download from the web page. Uh, make sure your computer have the internet. Okay, it's complete. We can cancel this step. Continue and close it. Okay, now we can get this SD card out. And we will insert to our power distribution box. And the first make sure is power off. Power off. And now we can insert at this SD card socket. Okay, this is insert. And now we can power on again. And make sure you have connect with the Ethernet cable. I prefer use the Ethernet. And power on. Okay, now let's back to my computer and open your web browser. And import Home Assistant. And, and at this part, and enter. I maybe can't open this web page, it's error. But uh, the Raspberry Pi start up, the Home Assistant app start up near 10. So just wait for some minutes. You can see I can refresh and uh, reload it. If you can't open this web page, uh, just wait and wait. Okay, you can see this time I refresh it. That is the Home Assistant. The web page is displayed. And we can show these details. Click it here so you can see the all steps have running. And this will take about uh, 20 minutes, so it's a long time. Okay, you can see this is complete, and we need to create a Home Assistant account. So you can click this one and import the name such as Kinkone and the password 123456 and confirm your password and create account and press next and you can choose your country. I just choose anyone for test and press next and press next and finish. Okay, now the simplest dashboard Home Assistant is displayed. We have completely installed the Home Assistant, so let's back to this step. The first step we have complete, and the second step we need to install the HACS because we will need we will use this this one this component uh, install it uh, from HACS. So let's look at how to install HACS. Click this one because the HACS have many the third part software you can download and free to use. And you can go to the add-on store and install SSH, this terminal add-on firstly. And here you can see we can click the setting and add-on and add-on store and search SSH, just this one. Click and we can click install so that can auto download from internet and install this component. Okay, now you install complete. But before you start it, we need to configuration 
and set the username and the password. It's up to you. So I can change the username to Kinkoni and the password is also 123456 and press this save button, save it and click info and click this uh, shooting sidebar. I can see uh, uh, this have SSH. You can see this terminal is displayed and press start. And after start, we can click this one, open web UI. So that you can see, uh, this is a home assistant command mode. So we can go to this step and copy this one. Click, we'll copy this test and paste it here. How to paste? You can see it here. You can use Ctrl Shift V and this different different way. I use the country shaft V if you use Windows operation system. Country shaft V. Okay, you can see this is paste and enter. And so that can auto download and install the HACS. Okay, this is install complete and you can see that helps you to remember to restart the home assistant before you configure it. So you, now you need to restart the Home Assistant. So I can click this one, uh, setting and system, and this one, restart Home Assistant, and continue start. Okay, wait for a moment. And let's look at this step. Uh, this step we have all have done. And after you install, you need to configuration. You can click this one and initial configuration. So all details have showed on this web page. I just will do step by step uh, by the video. So we can back to Home Assistant. You can see it's restarted. And we can click setting and click device and click add integration. And this time we can input HACS. You can see this HACS. Just click this one and we'll have some uh, display. Uh, we can ch check this box. This must need to check. Uh, this you can check or not check, no problem. And click submit. Okay, now you can see this window. That means you will link your GitHub account. So you can click this one. And you can see this code you need to import at here. Uh, just this code you can copy and paste and paste it here and press continue. Okay, you can click this one. Okay, congratulations. It's complete and back to this. Also, you can see that is successful. And click finish. Okay, the HSS is installed, it's very easy. And let's look at this one. Okay, this time we need to do this step three. Just uh, install this Raspberry Pi GPL add-on. So you can copy this name and just find in HACS. You can see HACS and integration and explode. You can input just a paste. You can see that will find this Raspberry Pi GPL library. We can click Okay, uh, this has showed how to use online guide of this library. We just click download and click download. Okay, this is download and install it. Uh, you can see pending restart. So you need to restart the home assistant and you can click setting and the system and the restart button at here restart restart okay and this step three we have to and now we can do this the last last step uh, just you need to install the add uh, file edit add-on for actually because you need to modify the yaml file so you need to install this 
and uh, I just called file edit. So we can back to Home Assistant and uh, click setting and click add on and click add on store. And you can see uh, this is file edit. Or, or you can import file that will be displayed the file edit. And you can click install. Okay, it's install complete. Okay, also we can show inside by just enable it. So that is a file editor we will show in your left menu. So we can click start. We will start the uh, file edit add on. Okay, it has started. After start, you can click this file edit. And this you can choose this one configuration.yaml so this is the home assistant config file and we can add code at here you can see at last uh, when because we have eight channel digital input just used for binary sensor and eight channel digital output that for really just for eight switch so you can create the eight switch and eight channel binary sensor uh, we have already write the code, so you just copy and paste and paste it here. Okay, so you can see uh, the switch name uh, CM4 relay 1 until CM4 relay 8, and this binary sensor that is CM4 uh, import 1 and until import 8. So we can click this save and restart home assistant and system and restart button restart restart okay wait for a moment and you can click overview now you can see the relay output is eight channel you can see i can turn on and turn off relay this is all on and this is all off so you can see i can turn on relay one turn on relay two and you can see that relay 1 and relay 2 is on. So if I turn off, you can see in Home Assistant. And if I turn all on, uh, that is all on. All off, all on, all off, all on. And now you can also use the Home Assistant mobile phone application. You can see I can turn all on and I can turn off by this mobile phone. So you can install the application on Android phone or iPhone. Okay, this is how to install the Home Assistant on the Raspberry Pi Smart Power Distribution Box. Thanks for watching.